In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to make a histogram using a data analysis tool on Excel. This is an older version of Excel. It's from Office XP, so if you have the older version, fear not, these features will be there. And certainly if you have a newer version of Excel, the features will be here. They might be in slightly different spots, but they'll be here. So, let's talk first about the scenario. Let's talk about the wait times, the data that we have. Let's say that you've collected some data on wait times at a particular uh, place, maybe a, a doctor's office. These will be long wait times, but let's say that's what the data is. And you want to make a histogram. Now, if you had the uh, classes that you want, let's say you decide that you want to divide this up in classes, a class width of 20, so 0 to 19, 20 to 39, and so on, then you could count the frequency, how many of these data points are between 0 and 19, and how many of these data points are between 20 and 39, 20 and 39, and, and so on. And that's fine. You could do that, and then you could use the, um, the chart wizard and make a column graph and, and show that as your histogram. But let's say you didn't want to count this. If you had long, uh, more data than this, it would be kind of tedious to, to count all of this. So you decide your classes. You, you do need to do that for Excel. Um, now, if you have your classes 0 to 19, Excel sees them as bins. So it's, it's the last number of, your, of each class. That's what the bins are. So we'll get to that. Okay, to get to this histogram tool, first you are going to need to click on Tools, get the Add-in Analysis Tool Pack. Okay. For some of the uh, versions, for some reason, you have to close Excel and then restart to, to get it to show up again when you then go into Tools to get the Data Analysis. Okay, we're going to click on Data Analysis, and we're going to choose Histogram. Now Excel says, well, what am I doing the histogram about? The input range. We're going to choose this A2 through A24, cells A2 through A24, so our data. The bin range, that is, where, where are our bins? And remember, Excel, um, how it codes in the bins, it's how it codes in the classes, it calls them bins, and it's just the last number of each class that you designate. And we say, OK, hit Enter. There's what I'm doing. And then output range. A lot of times you'll want to just do this in a new worksheet, and that's fine. I'm going to show it in an output range of just right on this sheet, just just so that uh, we can look at these numbers at the same time that we're seeing the graph, the the histogram. Chart output, you need to click that so it gives you a chart. Otherwise, it will just give you a frequency distribution. It will give you the bins and then how many times uh, these numbers, each of these numbers show up in the 0 to 19 and so on. All right, we are ready. We hit OK. Think about it. Here we go. Here's our histogram. Now, like, this is what I was talking about. If you don't hit that chart output, it'll just give you this frequency distribution. Now, if you don't like this, we can fix this up a little bit because we don't, I'm not crazy about this either, this bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these classes. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm just going to paste it right there. Got it. We've got our, we have our, our uh, classes there, and it's it's on the x-axis. This this chart. Well, if it's a bigger chart, you're not going to run into. If it's on a new worksheet, you're not going to run into that problem as much of it scrunching up. But you can always make it bigger. All right. So these numbers show up. You can right-click on the axis. You can uh, font change the font down a little bit smaller so these fit in here a little nicer. We know that a histogram, typically, when you see it in textbooks and, and in print, this we would call this a bar chart of sort, or Excel calls it a column chart. Uh, a histogram typically has these things closer to each other, these bars touching. So we can do that. We can right-click on any one of these bars and format data series, and then options. So I'm telling you this in case you wanted to present this to someone. All right, options, and then gap width. Gap width way down to zero. So now it looks like the histogram that we're used to. And we can change all of these titles, anything we want. We can say, change this to wait times if we would like to. That's, that's fine. 
frequency and you could get rid of the uh, the legend or you can change the the titling of it frequency is just like what we know what the um, histogram shows so in that class of 0 to 19 we have no wait times that that show up in that time uh, that class of 0 to 19 and that's that's true that's true to our data 20 to 39 we have six and we again we could have counted that that's fine one two three four five six and then uh, and then just built this on our own what we what Excel did for us built this frequency distribution on our own and then uh, made the bar chart but but again if you have a, a lot of data uh, it's, it's a lot easier to just let Excel count it up for you and it doesn't have to be in order Excel will count it for you anyway okay so that that is a little bit more on just making it look like a histogram uh, absolutely if you just wanted to use this just this data then to make a bar chart you could certainly do that because right now it's got this more Excel always throws this in this histogram function in the data analysis add-in always throws in this more so how many data points are greater than 99 well we don't have any it stops at 93 there so uh, you can you could fix that ag again by letting Excel count all this stuff up and then making a bar chart of your of your own. So that is just a few things. Again, you can uh, pretty this up more. You can change the background and everything to make it look as you as you like. But the main thing is is letting Excel count all of all of your uh, data values in, like like I showed with the first one. There are six data points between 20 and 39, and and we see uh, four data points between uh, 40 and 59 for example and so on all right there's an example of making a histogram on excel